Hello, hello, good afternoon sa inyo at happy Sunday. Yan, so nandito na naman tayo sa Usapang Pera live stream and I hope uh, okay kayo ngayong weekend. Yan, patapos na, may pasok na naman bukas. And uh, usually, ayusin natin ang ating ano. Usually, Saturday tayo nagla-live stream but uh, busy ako kahapon. Meron kaming uh, seminar sa Wealth Archie nung uh, Affordable Legacy Seminar. So I was able I am only able to live stream today Sunday and uh unfortunately next week uh, I will be in Cebu to do a corporate uh, talk so wala tayong live stream next week so I am really sorry to uh, tell you this but of course after that sa March uh, 14 makapag live stream ulit tayo so yon uh, I hope you're all ready to learn this uh, afternoon and uh, kung meron kayong tanong, of course, meron tayong live chat. You can always uh, uh, write your comments and uh, questions dyan sa live chat. So, I hope okay yung dating ng aking video at saka audio and I'm, I would like to first, o oh nga pala, no? ha, hindi ko pa na-introduce yung sarili ko, especially those who are watching this live stream for the first time, ako nga pala si Fitz Villafuerte and I am a registered financial planner. So, ako ay isa ring blogger. Meron akong website called uh, Ready to Be Rich which you can find at fitzvillafuerte.com and I hope uh, you can check out my website. Uh, marami akong nasusulat doon tungkol sa personal finance. And I guess uh, with that, ako nga pala, no? if, you, if it's your first time, to watch this live stream, you usually have three parts. The first part is yung ating quotable quotes, which is coming next. And then we have the topic of the day. And topic of the day natin is yung how do you diversify your uh, investment portfolio. Yan. Kasi maraming nagsas- may nagta- marami nagtatanong sa akin, paano ba talaga yung mag-diversify? And then also, uh, after that, we have our question and answer part. And do- doon tayo pwede magtanong ng kahit ano na gusto natin basta under the topics of personal finance, business, and investments. Alright, so let's get the show going. Yeah, let's get the show going talaga. And proceed to our first part which is yung ating quotable quotes. Welcome sa Quotable Quotes for this afternoon. Ang, ang gagamitin natin quote ay mula kay Jack Benny. Tama ba? Tika lang nga, titignan natin. <laughs> Alright, so ang Quotable Quote natin for today comes from Jack Benny. Si Jack Benny, ano siya? It's, he's an entertainer, he's an actor. And uh, sabi niya, Try to save something while your salary is small. It's impossible to save after you begin to earn more. And uh, marami na rin akong narinig na variations nitong uh, quote na to. And I strongly believe dito sa sinabi niya because of course, kung maliit pa lang yung savings mo, maliit pa lang yung sweldo mo, at konti pa lang expenses mo, hindi mo na ma-manage yung pera mo, mas mahihirapan ka kapag kumita ka na ng mas malaki at mas marami ka ng pera. Kasi pag mas marami ka ng pera, usually mas marami ka na rin gastos. And uh, sinasabi ko nga na kung gusto mong someday mag-start ng business, I know a lot of people who wants to put up their own business someday. Ang advice ko sa kanila, take care of your personal finance. Learn how to manage your own money. Why? Because that is actually practice when you eventually become an entrepreneur and start your own business. Bakit? Kasi, di ba, yung personal finance mo, ano ba yung, binabalan- ano ba yung binabalance mo dyan? Di ba? You try to uh, maximize your income and then you try to manage your spending, your expenses, so that, so that at the end of the day, at the end of the month, 
Yan, meron kang savings. And then yung na-save mo, you find investments where your money can uh, further grow. So, in analogy, pagdating sa business, ganun din yung gagawin mo, di ba? You try to uh, maximize your income, yung profits mo, gusto mo lumaki, while minimizing yung iyong mga expenses dun sa negosyo. Dahil ang gusto mo, at the end of the month, meron ka ring natitirang pera. Tapos, ano yung gagawin mo dun sa natitirang pera? Usually, pag medyo malaki-laki na siya, you invest it back to the business. You find ways to expand and grow your business. So, pareho lang siya. Uh, basically, yung financial skills, yung money management skills that you need for uh, growing and maintaining a business is the same as what we do sa personal finance natin. Kaya kung gusto mong magnegosyo someday, learn how to manage your own money first because it's really great practice. And of course, marami na tayong na babalitaan mga sikat dati, mga artista, mga athletes na ngayon medyo nahihirapan na sila, no? wala na silang pera. And of course, meron ding mga lotto winners dati, mga lottery winners na eventually naubos nila yung panalo nila, naubos nila yung jackpot na napanaluhan nila at naghirap sila ulit. Uh, according to the statistics that I've um, read online, one out of four lottery winners eventually go back to eventually go back to poverty. So isipin mo yun, no, may milyon-milyon ka ng pera tapos nauubos din lahat. Uh, one out of four, kahit na 25% lang, but still, if you imagine it, sayang pa rin. And the reason for that really is because they did not know how to manage their money while they still ha- uh, while it the, they they didn't know how to manage their money while their income was still small. So, nung nagkaroon sila ng malaking pera, bigla hindi nila alam kung paano uh, protect, i-protect yung uh, pera nila, hindi nila alam kung paano i-grow yung pera nila. So, eventually, naubos din lahat. So, I guess that's our quotable quote for today from Jack Benny. Again, he says, Try to save something while your salary is small. It's impossible to save after you begin to earn more. Alright? So, ayun. Hello, Paolo. Kamusta? And that's our quotable quote for today. So, for beginners, what are the best recommendations for investment diversification? Okay, sige. Sasagutin natin yan mamaya sa topic of the day natin, Paolo. Okay? So, with that, let's proceed sa uh, topic of the day. Alright. Welcome sa ating topic of the day and uh, what the topic that I chose to discuss is yung ways to diversify investments. Alright, so paano mo ba i-diversify yung mga uh, pinaglalagyan mo ng pera? But first, let me tell you why is it important to diversify. Uh, it's important to diversify because it spreads the risk. So, imagine mo na lang kung ang isang tindahan ay isang produkto lang yung binibenta niya. So, syempre, kunwari, ang isang tindahan, ang, ang binibenta lang niya ay yellow. Ayan. So, syempre, kung mainit at ma- may holidays, malakas yung bentahan niya ng yellow. Pero, uh, on ordinary days, especially pag malamig yung panahon, wala, wala sigurong bibili ng yellow sa kanya. So, para mas ma-minimize or mas spread out yung risk nung, na malugi yung tindahan, mag-iisip siya ng mga ibang produkto na ibebenta. So, kung nagbebenta siya ng yellow, siguro magbenta na rin siya ng pagkain para dun sa mga araw na mahina ang ang demand for for uh, ice, meron ding mga pupunta sa tindahan niya para bumili ng pagkain. And 
Yun yung concept ng sari-sari store, di ba? Marami kang binibenta kasi you try to see ano ba yung mga kailangan ng target market mo at different times of the of the day, of the month, and of the year. So, the same analogy uh, sa diversification, yung pera mo, syempre, for each investment that you choose, merong mga iba't ibang klaseng risk na involved. So, for rec- in recent times, yung stock market, uh, particularly yung Philippine stock market, it, it hasn't been performing uh, well. So, yung mga nag-invest siguro mga 3, 4 years ago hanggang ngayon, either break even or uh, negative pa, lugi, lugi pa. No? So, kung lahat ng pera mo nilalagay mo sa stock market, then probably uh, negative pa ang portfolio mo ngayon. So, that's why it's important to diversify. Boy, kasi last year, magandang performance ng mga fixed income funds, yung mga bonds and yung mga money market funds. So, kung uh, a portion of your money is in the stock market and a portion of your money is in bonds, then uh, kumita ka probably last year. No? So, depende actually dun sa hatian kung paano mo inallocate. No? So, uh, just want, I just want you to uh, learn na the value of diversification is that it minimizes your risk. Particularly kapag yung isang investment mo umababa yung value, then at least yung isang mong investment tataas. And there's a proper way to diversify your portfolio. Hindi pwedeng pare-pareho yung nagiging performance ng mga investment mo. Kasi pag tumaas ang isa, tuma- tataas lahat, hindi ka diversified. Dapat pag may tumataas sa isa, yung isa siguro bumababa. Or pag may bumababang isa, at least yung iba hindi affected. Uh, probably pwede silang tumaas. So, what are the ways to diversify your investments? I prepared five ways. Ayan, meron akong... Uh, bakit wala yung aking... Uh, yan, wait. So, nalilang properties. Ah, yan. So, meron akong uh, prepare na background. <laughs> Pero, type natin. So, the first one is um, by asset class. Asset class. So, ano ibig sabihin ng asset class? Uh, iba't ibang klaseng investment. Meron kang stock market, meron kang bonds, meron kang real estate, meron kang business, meron kang currencies, may mutual fund ka, etc. So, uh, kung iba-iba yung pinaglalagay mo ng pera, syempre, it is expected na iba-iba din yung uh, performance niya. Just like last year, mababa yung stock market, pero mataas yung naging uh, performance ng mga bonds or yung mga fixed income funds. So, pwede mo siyang i-diversify based on uh, asset class. Alright. So, another way to diversify your portfolio is by uh, sector or industry. So, kung gusto mong, for example, yung iyong uh, stock market portfolio, gusto mo siyang i-diversify, then you can buy stocks of a company in the real estate sector or real estate industry. Tapos, bibili ka rin sa food sector or food industry. And then, meron ka rin sa financial, financial sector. Diba? Kasi, may mga, may mga sectors or may mga industries na tumataas based on uh, the current economic situation tas may mga sectors din na bumababa uh, pagdating sa mga current events. So, for example, <coughs> excuse me, so for example, you invested in mining, the, in the mining sector, uh, siguro mga four years ago, then probably kumita ka ng pera, no? But sig- nung nag-start si yung presidency, Nung nag-start yung presidency ni Duterte, nagkaroon ng problem sa mga mining uh, operations, so bumaba siya. So, kung lahat ng pera mo nasa mining, medyo nalugi ka. So, uh, it's not uh, a good strategy to put your all your money in a, in just one sector or one or just one industry. So, pwede mo siyang i-diversify. Iba't iba, may food, may consumers, may financials, may, may uh, real estate, etc. Okay, so another way to diversify your portfolio is by uh, size or uh, capitalization. Yan. Ano ibig sabihin yan? So, may mga investments ka na sa isa, 
particularly sa sa stock market na rin siguro, may mga small capital, small businesses ka, may mga medium scale businesses, may mga large capital uh, businesses. So, i- ano ibig sabihin nito? Of course, like Ayala Land, BPI, yan, uh, Jollibee, mga malalaking company na yan. So, you can put your all your money there, uh, pero i-diversify mo na lang based on the sector or industry. Pero, uh, another way to 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 diversify your stock market portfolio in particular is kukuha ka rin ng mga med- medyo medium scale companies, mga hindi pa sikat. No? So, for example, if you want to invest in the real estate industry, uh, you can get Ayala, which is, of course, malaking company na yan. And then, siguro yung medyo starting pa lang, like Double Dragon, di ba? It's a medyo uh, si- uh, bata pa lang na, na real estate company. And then, of course, you can invest sa mga small uh, cap businesses. So, by size and by capitalization. Paano mo i paano mo siya i apply sa mutual funds? So of course may mga mutual funds tayo na sobrang uh, matanda na or matagal na and marami ng investors. So malaki na yung value nung nung, nung fund. So pwede ka mag-invest doon but also at the same time you can diversify towards mga funds na bago pa lang, mga maliliit pa lang yung kanilang ano capitalization. So, bakit, bakit maganda mag-invest uh, sa mga mutual fund na medyo maliit pa lang or bago pa lang? Kasi, konti pa lang yung pera. So, yung fund manager, pag gusto niyang bumili ng isang uh, investment or bumili ng isang uh, asset, madali niyang ma- magagalaw yung pera niya. Di ba? Mas, mas ano siya, mas uh, agile yon So, Pag uh, gusto niyang ibenta, kunwari bumili siya ng particular stock, gusto niya ibenta yung mga stocks na yun, madali din niya ibenta kasi maliit pa lang. Unlike kapag malaki na yung fund, mas maraming pera ang hinahandle, medyo mas mahirap igalaw yung pera kasi ang laki, di ba? So, there's uh, a way to to uh, diversify because that happens, no? And uh, ano ba yung pangatlo? Ayan, so na i- 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 dadagdag natin. Ayan. Number four, by size, capitalization, um, feature or type. No? Ano ibig sabihin ng feature or type? So, of course, may mga investments na for growth, may mga investments for liquidity, may mga investments for income. So, for example, yung real estate, uh, ang main feature ng real estate is you make money by uh, growth no? kasi tumataas yung uh, pera, uh, tumataas yung value ng pera mo or value ng real estate nag-appreciate and you make money from that. But of course, yung real estate meron din siyang opportunity to earn income kasi from rentals. Ngayon, kung ilalagay mo lahat ng pera mo sa real estate, ang problem dyan, hindi ka liquid. Pag bigla mo kailangan ng pera, uh, mahirap ibenta yung mga real estate. Hindi naman kasi ganun ka kabilis. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, excuse me. So, it it makes sense that you also diversify sa mga liquid type of investment. So, meron ka mga mutual funds. Uh, of course, ang mutual funds, very liquid yan in a way kasi uh, less than a week, pwede mong i-redeem yung shares mo and uh, withdraw your money. So, it makes sense that you also diversify based on the features and types. Meron kang mga investments madaling kunin. May mga investments ka na may kahit na mahirap kunin pero mas mataas yung potential na lumaki. Tapos may mga investments ka rin na the main reason bakit mo kinuha yung investment na yun kasi it will produce cash flow for you. Alright? So the last type of uh, investment, uh, uh, the last type of diversification that you can do is based, uh, based on country or uh, location. Ayan. So, kung lahat ng investments mo nasa Pilipinas lang, kapag bumaba ang economy ng Pilipinas, lahat ng investments mo, bababa. Di ba? Usually, that's the thing. Kasi dikit-dikit yan. So, it makes sense to also see if you can di- if you can diversify sa ibang market. So, may mga global markets tayo, may US market, UK market, etc. And, uh, you don't really have to to go to another country or to go abroad to to invest in them. Dito mismo sa Pilipinas, may mga brokers 
may mga mutual fund companies in particular and UITFs na nag-offer sila ng mga global funds. Uh, yung May mga brokers din na uh, you can uh, open an account online like yung eToro. Yan. So, you, so that you can invest in US stocks, UK stocks, sa mga ETFs, commodities in other countries or uh, yung sa global economy. So, how much uh, percentage of your money should you invest sa abroad or sa ibang currencies? Uh, it depends on you. It depends on your financial plan. It depends on your goals. But I would say a good portion of it, uh, not, 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 uh, a good portion of your portfolio should be in the currency where you spend. So, ibig sabihin kung nasa Pilipinas ka and you spend in Philippine Peso, then uh, this is just uh, off the top of my head, guys. No? So, siguro 90% of your portfolio pwedeng nasa mga Philippine-based uh, uh, investment. So, 10%, I guess that's a healthy por- percentage na pwede mong invest sa mga foreign uh, or global market or foreign cur- foreign denominated investments. no? Uh, however, for example, ikaw ay... Uh, nasa Pilipinas nga pero balak mo mag-migrate sa Australia. So it makes sense na as early as today, you try to see if you can already invest sa mga Australian based uh, investments. You can diversify towards that kasi it's part of your future. So pwede ka magsimula ng 10% of your portfolio, then slowly you increase yung percentage ng ini-invest mo sa Australia kasi eventually it's part of your uh, plan to migrate there or probably work there, di ba? So, those are the five ways that you can diversify. You can diversify by asset class. So, for example, uh, you invest in stocks and then you also invest in bonds. So, magkaiba sila. You can also invest, uh, uh, you can also diversify based on sector or industry. So, meron kang mga real estate uh, companies sa stock market. Meron kang ding mga nasa food industry sa stock market like Ayala tapos meron kang Jollibee. Tapos meron ka din based on size or capitalization. So, in the example of mutual funds, you can invest sa mga mutual funds na malaki na, matanda na, but don't just invest in there. You can also choose to invest a portion of your investment funds sa mga mutual fund na medyo bata pa, uh, maliit pa lang yung kanilang size. No? And then there, you can also invest based, I uh, diversify based on feature or type. So may mga may mga investment na that will give you uh, good liquidity. Uh, may mga investment that will um, main feature nila is yung growth potential niya. And then meron ding mga investment na that will give you constant uh, regular cash flow or income. So wag lahat na sa isang growth type of investment. May, dapat meron ding medyo yung sa nag, nagpo-provide ng liquidity or meron ding uh, investment na pwede magbigay ng regular cash flow or income. And then lastly, you can diversify based on country or locations. And sa uh, according to the performance of the US stock market last year, 2019, uh, one of the best performing uh, indexes yung Dow Jones. no So kung Lahat ng pera mo nasa Pilipinas lang, you missed out on that. But kung a portion of your income is invested in US stocks and then uh, you were then at least you are you were able to uh, get some profits out of the uh, rally of the US stocks last year. So those are the five ways that you can diversify. So I hope may natutunan kayong bago uh, dito sa ating uh, topic of the day which is ways to diversify investments. And with that, uh, we will go to the Q&A and we will answer yung sagot, ayan tanong mo, Paolo. No? But first, of course, let me invite everyone to check out yung ating YouTube channel and then uh, I've uploaded some videos there, yung mga snippets ng mga past live streams natin so that uh, you can share it to your friends and invite them to subscribe to our channel kung hindi sila available during the time na nagla-live stream tayo in Spotify. And uh, ang focus ko dun sa podcast natin ay behavioral finance. So, it's really about the mindset and practical uh, tips kung, kung paano natin may improve yung finances natin. So, wala, masyado, wala akong masyadong technical discussion dyan sa the 80%. So, it's 
another venue for you to learn something new. Alright, so with that, let's go to our q and <laughs> Welcome sa ating Q&A And ang pinakauna nating question ay, galo, ay galing kay Paolo And sabi niya, Hello Sir Fitz For beginners, what are the best recommendations for investment diversification? So, if you're just a beginner And you want to create a diversified portfolio uh, Pwede ka magsimula dun sa concept na Low risk, moderate risk, and high risk no investment So, uh, of course, meron kang emergency fund na dapat uh, when you're starting and uh, dun sa emergency yung emergency fund mo you hindi naman kailangan lahat nasa savings account you can invest it in a low risk uh, instruments like the time deposit or mga money market fund so yun yung low risk part mo ng portfolio na dun mo siya i-diversify so pwede mo siya ilagay sa sa savings account then a portion of it in a time deposit or a money market fund. So, na yung, so yun na yung low risk part. So, punta nga sa moderate risk. Uh, a, um, a moderate risk investment uh, would be a bond fund or a balanced fund. So, if you are able to earn a little more, ayan, you can now inquire in the same bank where you, ha- where, you are, uh, have an, where you have an account and then ask them uh, about their balanced funds. So, you can start your balance fund investments. Doon na rin mismo sa banko. Alright? And then, once you have a little bit more, it's time for you to diversify towards high-risk investments. And pag sinabi natin high-risk, syempre, stock market na kagad ang uh, top of mind. So, you can now probably ask your bank if they have a stock, uh, stock brokerage service. So, for example, sa BPI, mayroong BPI Trade. Sa BDO, may BDO Numura. Tapos sa Metro Bank, mayroong First Metro uh, Security. So, hindi mo kailangan lumayo. Ayan. As a beginner, siyempre nakakatamad na punta pa sa iba't ibang office. But, of course, uh, there, you don't have to uh, just stick to your own bank. If you want to open in another company, uh, in, in another stock broker, then go ahead. But, after that, you are basically diversified. Uh, I would say that you're basically diversified. Uh, you have low risk investments, you have moderate risk investments, and then you have high risk investments na nasa uh, stock market. Yung moderate risk mo nasa UITF or mutual fund, the balance fund. And then yung low risk nasa savings account or da- time deposit na uh, investment. So that's a good way for you to diversify as a uh, as a beginner or as a newbie sa investing world. Alright? Alright, so may tanong din si DJ. Hi, Sir Fitz. Good afternoon. Based on the market standing today, what would be the best investment vehicles to invest in and best diversification strategy? Uh, ano bang ibig mo sabihin sa market standing today? Kasi ano, di ba? Bagsak yung mga, mga stocks kasi uh, dahil dun sa coronavirus, di ba? And, and I cannot give like a generic investment strategy kasi hindi ko alam yung iyong uh, financial goal at saka financial standing but uh, during the times that the market is down it's best to focus on your income Yan. try to find ways to make more money then pagdating sa investment mo if you were, for your long term investments as in meron kang investment na you're doing cost averaging for example tapos long term siya you can continue that no Ngayon, for your investments na for medium term and short term uh, goals, I would say na medyo mag-wait and see ka rin. Lalo na din nga uh, in recent times na hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan magkakaroon ng, ng uh, issue or concern, concern pagdating dito sa coronavirus, dito sa COVID-19. No? And 
yung mga pera mo na dapat i-invest mo for your short term or medium term goals baka ma- mas maganda na hawakan mo na lang muna pero for your long term goals you can continue investing in that kasi i don't think that this uh, problem will last for more than five years kasi pag itong uh, covid-19 ay tumagal ng five years ano ano mo yon I, ano siya it's really a serious matter na no matter what investing strategy you have probably magkakaroon na ng market panic and all but, but i think we will not get uh, we will not reach that point no of course the world health organization and all the countries are working together to find a solution to this uh, but of course it is very alarming so it could affect your short term and medium term investing goals so hold on to that money pagdating naman sa 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 mga global uh, concerns yan cash is king no pag nagkakaroon ng 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 uh, issue sa economy no and ako personally one of the best ways to survive through economic turmoil yan economic turmoil talaga ay to focus on your income hanap ka ng ways para kumita ng pera uh, something to do during your free time uh, a business that you can put up uh, on the side etc so what would be the best investment vehicles to invest in and best diversification strategy so ako uh, since i am talking about uh, uh, focusing your, on your income maybe you can diversify towards uh, businesses no you can you can try to see if there's a, a franchise business that you can get or a business that you can put up or anything that can give you cash flow syempre di ba kailangan ng business capital uh, a long term type of investment but if you can go into foreclosed properties and uh, real estate flipping which takes a little bit of skill and time and effort then kung kaya mong gawin yun, okay lang kasi ano siya short to medium term uh, uh, profits ang ang investment horizon ng foreclosed property flipping na type of investment so uh, focus on inv- or on things that can create cash flow for you so yung by ano, by, by by feature yan, or by type yan. Uh, you can see you can check out mga investments that can, that can create uh, cash flow for you kasi usually yun yung importante kapag pababa ang market uh, you cannot just wait and pray for the prices to go up so dapat proactive ka uh, especially if uh, you have uh, investments na you're hoping to use within the next few years, diba? in the next within the next 3 to 5 years, it will be uncertain kung mababawi or kung may reach mo yung target goal mo. So, might as well, as early as now, you try to find ways to earn more money pandagdag dun sa investment mo para meron kang fund para dun sa short-term and uh, medium-term goal mo. Alright? So, I hope I was able to answer your your question adequately, uh, DJ, no? Ayan, so maganda yung mga tanong ninyo. Uh, recently, meron ding nagtanong sa akin, uh, kailan ba daw dapat mag-start ng mag-plan for retirement? And of course, ayan, as early as uh, you can, would be the best time to start uh, investing for your retirement. Tika lang, ayusin ko lang yung dashboard ko. Medyo nalito ako. Ayan, alright. So, when should you start uh, income, hindi yan forever meron ka or yung ability mo to work hindi forever kaya mo lang ang gastos hanggang sa mamatay ka patay ka na nga, may mga gastos pa yung mga mahal mo sa buhay para sa'yo, di ba? So, it's important that as soon as you start earning money you immediately set aside kahit na very small portion lang uh, towards your retirement because even a small amount uh, with time on your side you will be able to eventually grow enough money, uh, hopefully, yan. but I am very optim- optimistic if you start very early, you'll be able to create an adequate fund for your retirement. And, hindi mo, wag mo muna isipin kung saan ba maganda i-invest yung pera mo for retirement kasi, uh, again, the important thing is to learn the habit first. So, kahit na nilalagay mo lang siya sa isang savings account, okay lang yon, kasi, while you're learning how to save, you can learn how to invest eventually. 
So, you can attend seminars, read books, uh, watch our live stream, uh, listen to my podcast, um, and all those things para once you are able to learn or educate yourself financially, you can now be more sophisticated with your investing strategies pagdating sa pag-allocate ng pera mo for your retirement fund. Alright? So, as early as you can, you can, you should start investing and saving for your retirement. Kahit na maliit lang yan, as long as time is on your side, uh, that the better, no? Kasi a small amount invested today will grow uh, much uh, bigger than a uh, big amount invested years from now, no? Sobrang konti na lang yung oras mo para mag-compound. So, mas maganda ngayon pala nagsisimula ka na. Okay? So, Si Den. Hi, Den. Happy Sunday po, Sir Blitz. Oh, happy Sunday, Den. Den. Alright. So, ayun. I guess, yun. Medyo maaga tayong matatapos today. May mga tanong pa ba kayo? You can just ask it sa live chat. And um, from the past few weeks, napansin ko na konti lang yung nakakapanood ng live stream natin kapag Sunday ako nag uh, o online. I think the last time na Sunday ako nag-live stream was last month or two months ago. Basta sometime in December yata or January. Hindi ko na rin matandaan. Ako, sorry. Uh, so, uh, that's a learning experience for me na let's try to uh, make our live streams during Saturdays. But, uh, yun nga, unfortunately, I don't know if you were here during the start of our live stream na wala ako next week. no I will be in Cebu uh, the whole weekend. So, I'm not sure if I can do a live stream, yun na lang, no? Kung kaya ko, magla-live stream ako ng surprise, yan, surprise na live stream last week, but uh, don't expect uh, na makakapag-live stream tayo. So, isusurprise ko na lang kayo kasi nga, nasa Cebu ako. And, but after the year, the week after that, March uh, 14, yan, probably makakapag-live stream na ako. And, if I remember it correctly, meron din akong online seminar, online webinar on that day uh, in the evening. So, pwede tayong mag-live stream ng hapon and then sa gabi, magkikita ulit tayo para sa online seminar. I think that's free. Yan. Inaayos ko pa yung detail uh, but I will surely announce it soon uh, kung matutuloy. Yan. Kasi I'm working with a company uh, on that. Alright? So, I guess if you don't have any more questions, we can end this live stream already. So, uh, community dito at mas marami tayong interaction pag nagla-live stream and of course please uh, remember to check out my website at ready to be rich and uh, that's it hopefully to hopefully I we will see each other next week but if not then see you in two weeks time but of course I'm usually online naman you can send me a message sa Facebook or sa dito sa YouTube you can comment it once I upload yung uh, recording ng live stream natin. Alright? So, that's it. Thank you. Happy Sunday. And uh, goodbye and have a productive week ahead.